live baritone challenge today. It's good to see everybody. Looks like I got the right link. Looks like I'm rocking and rolling. So before we get started, let me know where you're calling in from. All right, let me know where you are calling in from. You guys, the pros is in San Diego. Diego. Oh. Baritone challenge today. Uh oh, where is that? Good to see everybody. Looks like I got the right link. Let me turn that off for a second. I gotta find where that, where that's coming through from. All right, where are you? Where are you? It's live on YouTube somewhere. There it is. Okay, I got it. I'm good. I'm good. Turn it off there. All right. Don't need to sound anyways. All right. Austin, Texas, Portland, Oregon, Ohio, Ontario. I know we're a little we're a little delayed here. I think I'm about 20 seconds. So, uh, do you have your baritone? Do you have your baritone? Do you have your you like the pro shirt? All premium members get a you like the pro shirt. Okay, all premium members. So, all right. Welcome everybody. Welcome. I know some of you have ordered a baritone, and uh, we are trying to get it to you. We're having a, a little bit of a problem shipping right now due to uh, a few different reasons, but we are working hard to do everything we can. All right. Good, 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 good. By the way, the baritone tuning we are using, and we're going to go over that, is standard baritone tuning, not the uh, GCEA tuning. Okay, so make sure you have the, the baritone tuning. We'll go over it. Don't worry. This is this is a beginner challenge. Okay. Beginner challenge D G B E. That's our tuning we're using. Okay. All right, good, good. I wish I could see you all, but uh I can't. But that's part of the the nice thing though is on YouTube, so it's easy to get to. Uh there was a slight uh there was a slight issue with the chart and some it didn't have a verse and it had some mistakes, which was my fault. Uh, it was my fault. I sent the wrong chart out um, yesterday as I was doing this, getting all this stuff ready. So anyway, there should be a new chart posted uh, up on the site. Make sure you sign up for the challenge, first of all. You want to get signed up for the challenge. Uh, okay, make sure you get signed up for the challenge. That's the sign up. Um, and then we have a separate page where you can get the, the printables. Okay, You can get the uh, backing tracks and the printables and then what we'll do is this video right here this is essentially your tutorial video so I didn't do I didn't do separate videos for each lesson here this is what the live will be then you can either come here live watch it later and then you can post your videos okay all right all right good good from Florida is here as well um, so anyway this is our baritone challenge uh, we are teamed up with Ohana on this one, and we are be going to give away the winner. By the way, the winner for the Baritone Challenge is going to win an Ohana BK20CE Baritone ukulele. All right, so there's there's a winner is going to win. I don't have that with me. It's actually downstairs in my studio, but uh, I'll show you that next time. Okay. Uh, a concert ukulele capoed at the seventh fret. So that's gonna uh, that's gonna give you a really it's gonna give you a really high sound. I mean, uh, not really quite baritone like, but you know, I'd rather you participate uh, and then not participate. But that's definitely not gonna give you quite the baritone sound. How many of you are totally brand new to baritone? Brand new, because this is what this this challenge is like a beginning a beginning baritone challenge, and we're gonna kind of go from the beginning. Now, it doesn't mean it's gonna be super simple, and right? that doesn't mean that at all. But it is gonna be kind of start from the beginning, and then we're gonna build up. We're gonna do just like the last day, ten day challenge, ten days. Uh, every two days, we'll do a new video, uh, except for we'll do Monday, Wednesday, Friday this week, Monday, Wednesday next week. Okay, so we'll take the weekend off. I know it's the fourth uh, week, Fourth of July weekend here in the state, so uh, there'll be a lot of people busy out, you know, doing stuff like that. Okay, uh, then, okay, so make sure here. Let's make sure you, make sure you sign up, right? Sign up first, uh, and then once you sign up, you're gonna get the link to the. Um, you're gonna get the link to the the page. I'm gonna give it to you now, but you still have to sign up to be be a winner. Okay, so you still have to sign up for the challenge because we will look at 
we will look at uh, all the people that sign up for the challenge page, all right? But uh, I have too many windows open here. Too many windows open. Um, where I'm trying to find, here it is, okay. All right, once you get, once you sign up, this will be for your stuff. Okay, we're not putting it on Patreon. We're gonna put it up on this web page. We want everybody trying to go to the web page. Go to the web page. You the pros.com slash play. Once you do that, once you do that, let me just show you that page here real quick. Let me show it to you. Let me share my screen. I can share my screen. That's kind of the cool thing about Zoom here. Because I can share my screen. Let me move this over here. All right. All right, so once you, once you sign up, you're going to get to this baritone page, and you'll notice that there's some intro videos here. And look, at actually have today's video right here, what we're doing. And you can see the chat here, all right? And uh, then you have the downloadable material. This is 2D Fruity. This has been updated, uh, I believe. And then you have the backing track, slow, medium, and fast. And then notice, oh, look at this. Look at this. We also have a baritone webinar. Yeah, we have a baritone webinar coming up as well. Make sure you sign up. That's going to be a week from this coming Thursday. Okay, so excited! It's going to be a super cool, super cool uh, webinar. And and notice that we're we're trying to keep the links really simple. Okay, really simple. So for the baritone webinar, here's the link. Sign up. There we go. Yeah, I probably just had to refresh the page. I just didn't want to do that on the screen, but let me see. Okay. So, yeah. All right, good. So, we're good. We're good. Uh, I got it. I got it. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, we got something special next week, by the way. So, just so for that baritone webinar, there's like, <laughs> there's some exciting news that we're going to be getting going on that webinar. Super exciting news. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to share it with you. I've been doing a pretty good job uh, not spilling the beans, but there's something big, big coming uh, on that webinar. And that webinar, by the way, is going to be uh, Thursday. Uh, what is that date there? Thursday, uh, uh, July. F no, what, what is it? I'm not going to even try. Let me just look at the calendar here. So July 4th is going to be July, uh, Thursday, July, um, 4th of July, 9th. That's right, the 9th. All right, July 9th. Yes. All right. It's going to be so cool. All right. Chuck got a, Chuck got a bear. Huh? Who got a baritone from my store? We got so many baritones here right now. It's, it's awesome. We got a lot of baritones, including four Kanalea baritones for those that want to up up to the up their ante a little bit in the baritone game, just like I play, just like you'd see in all the videos. Okay, all right. What else we got? A couple more things. We're gonna get started on this thing. Just want to give people a second to get here. 87 people. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. We got 87 people, and we only got 21 thumbs up. So make sure to give that thumbs up, please. Okay. Um, Thank you all. Thank you all for all the support and all and all all the stuff you're doing. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to I'm gonna close out a few screens here because um, I have too much stuff open. <laughs> There's way too much stuff open right now, so I'm trying to simplify this a little bit. All right, now, uh, yeah, we're trying to get the rest of the orders out as soon as possible. Okay, so as soon as possible. All right, there's a couple more links I gotta share. So what is? Oh, so right now. Right now we have uh, baritones are on sale, fifteen percent off for the Kala and the uh, uh, Ohana. Yeah, so Ohana, both those sales. We got just only, we literally only got a, a day or so left. I don't remember. Okay, and that's that's right there. Coupon code is bear. If you need a coupon code, I don't think you do, but if you do, it's just baritone. Okay. 15% off all Ohana and Kala. Baritones. Baritones. Not 15% off the Kanalei. I apologize. <laughs> It'd be great. It'd be great. But that would put me in a not a not a great spot. Okay. Um, all of us, we're doing a little Elvis week this week. We'll be promoting that. Those Elvis ukuleles are in. Those Kala Elvis, 15% off. Yeah. Uh, 
So, uh, 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 yeah, they'll be coming. I'm just reading some of the comments. All right, good, good, good. So any any baritone will work for today. Any baritone will work for today. And the last thing, baritone challenge, we're just going over thing. Okay. I'll mention make I'll make a mention of the baritone course that I currently have up. That will uh, if you're a total beginner, that's kind of the way way to go. Okay, the way to go. <laughs> All right. We have uh, what else do we have here? We have a premium membership discount this week, Fourth of July special, premium member discount right now. So. Uh, webinar page sign up comes up as an air. Okay, we'll get on that. We'll get on that. <laughs> that is a uh, web. Web. Yeah. What did I say? Let me click on it here. Mari or Mari can take care of that. All right. I don't see it here. All right. We'll get it fixed. We'll get it fixed. All right. Oh. Oh, Mari's came up on the air. Yeah, it's it's just web. She didn't put a space. She didn't put a space on between it. So it's it's uh. Yeah, she didn't put a space in between it. You collect the pros. Dot com slash web. Just web. That's it. That's all you need. There you go. That should work. I think that should work. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and get this started here. We got ninety three people here. Thank you, thank you. Uh, no, the Ohanas are fifteen percent off as well. Yep, Ohana and and Kala are all fifteen percent off. And Kala, yeah. I said not Kanalea, not Kanalea. Those are fifteen percent off. I think I think today is the last day. I think today is the last day. I think so. I think today is the last day on that. Okay. Let's get this. Let's get let's get going here. I want to get. Uh, we got something really cool for you here today. So, day one of our baritone challenge, as I mentioned earlier, we're gonna do five lives every other day: Monday, Wednesday, Friday this week. Okay, at the same time, eleven, and then um, next week we're just gonna skip Saturday and Sunday, give the, give the weekend off, Monday and Wednesday. Okay. So Wednesday will be, uh, we'll do that. And then Thursday, which is kind of like really the last day of the challenge, we're going to do a baritone webinar. And that's when I have the really exciting news for that. Okay. Oh, yeah. Not to kind of lay. Yeah. Not to kind of lay. <laughs> so really exciting. This is really be cool. So we're going to do, we're going to spend a few minutes here for our challenge going over a few basics. Because I know some of you are totally new. Let me drink a little water here. I got actually my Conalea uh, water mug too. That's <laughs> you can see beat the beat the all heck. This is what I take out when I go running in the canyons. Okay, um, we're gonna start from the beginning, kind of do some basic stuff, and then we're gonna jump right into your first song today. And if you didn't see it, uh, it's Tutti Fruity by. Uh, Little Richard, and we got some really amazing, amazing backing tracks. Oh, there it is. The backing tracks, fun, 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 fun. All right, Tutti Frutti over to you. Oh, but we're not gonna do that now. <laughs> I do that. Let's start from the beginning here. So I, I got these really cool uh, handouts for us. I'm gonna show you here. I'll put them on the screen. Again, this and this video will be up and available on that that web page for us. Okay, so you can rewatch this later. <clears throat> but we're gonna we're gonna do such a great explanation right now that you're gonna get it. Okay, so this ain't my first. This ain't my first uh, baritone introduction. We've been doing baritone here at Uclick the Pros for the last couple of years now. So we are uh, we are rocking and rolling and on top of baritone. Then we have the webinar, and there's going to be a super, super special announcement that day. All right. Let me share my screen with you. I want to go over just the notes, just to make sure we're totally clear on everything. All right. So here we go. This is, and the chat's a good way to ask questions, although I, don't, I can't see all the questions when, uh, I can't see all the questions 
when I'm sharing my screen, but I'll, I'll, I'll get to them as much as I can. All right, so hopefully I put the right page up. Let's make sure it's up live here. Uh, all right, make sure it's up live. I gotta wait just a few seconds, but grab your baritone, grab your t-shirt if you don't. If not, the other requirement is a hat. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, so this is a little handout we put together for you. So I wanna go over this just to make sure we are totally clear on everything. I'll make this a little bigger for us. All right, so on the baritone, right? Strings, things, this is for the baritone. Notice we have D, I know I'm kind of small in the corner up here, D, that's your fourth string, and this, it's always low D. I mean, maybe there's a string out there for high D, I don't know. I just don't know why you would want a high D, but I guess it's possible, but low D. G is your next string, that's your third string. B is your second string. And then E is your first string. Okay, so D, G, B, and E. And then if you just strum a chord, that ends up being what they call, and this is not that important, I mean, yeah, I guess it's good to know. That's right here. Let's go G6 or E minor 7. Okay? So you notice that is different. That is different. That is different than your uh, your standard your standard ukulele, right? So different than your your tenor ukulele, right? Right, that's your C chord. But on the baritone that's your G chord. We're gonna, don't worry, we're gonna go over all those chords. We're gonna go over the chords you need. You need three chords today for us to get started, all right? Can you tune your baritone like a tenor ukulele? You can. You can tune it G, C, E, A. Yes, you can. But for the courses, that's not how we doing it. <laughs> that's not how we're doing it. We're doing it straight traditional baritone tuning. <laughs> Anymore. All right, straight baritone tuning. So hopefully you're down with that. That's the way we're going to get down. Okay. Now, some of you, uh, some of you hear that a baritone is tuned like a guitar. Okay. Yeah. Someone says Craig Chi has a baritone strings with high D. Okay. Okay. So yeah, if you kind of like, yeah. And he's great. He was just on our Q and A. Uh, a couple of weeks ago that we do for all the premium members. So he's, he's amazing. So um, I, I'm sticking with the low D, okay, for low D, okay? You can't get that, uh, that with a low, a high, high D, okay? Okay, now, I just want to show you something real quick because people say this all the time. Well, the baritone's tuned like a guitar. Well, that's great if you're a guitar player, but not everybody's a guitar player. So let me just show you something here, real quick. All right. So if I grab my guitar here, okay. All right. Okay, so if I grab my guitar, And I always say you're really, you're really hooked on guitar or something if you can just, anywhere you look, there's just a pick line around. Okay, so if you look, grab a guitar, the tuning here is, and just bear with me even if you're not a guitar player, E, A, D, G, B, E. Okay, so let me put that in there for you real quick. This is good to know even if you don't ever plan on playing guitar. Okay, guitar tuning is E, A, D, G, B, and E. Okay, let me do that again. E, A, D, G, B, E. Okay. All right, 
now, what does that mean? When we grab our baritone, and you notice, it is what? D, G, B, E. Okay, so the baritone tuning, at least just a standard typical baritone, is D, G, B, and E. So you notice, it's just, when people say it's like a guitar, it's like the guitar without the two lower strings, right? Without the the A and the E string without the two, so it's the same, the same bottom string. So matter of fact, if you play this shape on the baritone, which is a D chord, right, and then you grab your guitar, and you do the same shape, it's the same chord, all right? It's the same chord. All right, so that's it, but we're not doing guitar today. If you like guitar, we do good to guitar as well. <laughs> we do guitar, which is uh, rocklikethepros.com. Okay? So rock like the pros. That's that's all our guitar stuff over there. Are they the same octave? That's a good question. I'm gonna say they are. They are. They sound the guitar sounds different because you have the metal strings, but yeah, they sound like the same string. Donkey grows big ears. I never heard that. I never really thought about it. But yeah, you could say that. Okay. Oh, yours came with a high D. Okay. What? 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 Which one was that? Yeah, I don't think any of them that I have come with high D. That's 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 cool. I guess unusual. Unusual. Um. All right. So. Yeah, and, then, and Mario just put something up on a premium. So by the way, if. If you're not a premium member yet already with you like the pros, I mean, you're missing out on a lot of stuff for 19.95 a month or 188 a year. It's pretty it's pretty cheap. You get all the courses, you get the baritone course that I already have the beginning baritone course and you get the baritone weekly Q&A that we do every Wednesday. We do a weekly baritone Q&A. Um, plus I mean all the other courses. Ukulele, mainly ukulele, some guitar lately stuff. I mean, you get everything up there. I mean, it, I spend a lot more on subscriptions than I do to some of my mentors. I mean, a lot of my mentors are like $60 a month uh, for their membership stuff. Plus, uh, my mentors, I have to pay for their weekly Q&As that they do on top of the membership. So my mentors, I have to pay every four to six, eight weeks, like a, a lot of money. <laughs> they say a lot of money for their weekly Q&As. And we do we do three of them a week uh, at You Collect the Pros, all included for the 1995 or the 188. So, I mean, it, it's it's if you're really like it's a commitment to yourself. So if you're ready, like that's that you gotta just jump in. You know, I mean, just just private lessons alone. Not even with me. Like I don't even do private lessons. I don't. I just don't have the time. But even if you took private lessons with somebody, that's like 50, 60, 80 bucks right there. I mean, just for one, one lesson, you know? So anyway, premium measure. And right now we have a 20% off. All right, well, 20% off. Uh, all right, we do a baritone Q&A. It's just, yeah, it's, it's at three. So I know it's kind of late. Those are all recorded though. Okay, those are all recorded. Uh, okay, let's jump to the next stage here. So we did the tuning. We did a tuning. So let's let's go over, uh, and I'm going to show you the, I just want to give you kind of a, a rundown of the strings real quick, the, the notes, and then we'll uh, show you your first chord, and then we're going to do our first song today. We're going to do our first song. <clears throat> All right, so here's notes on the baritone. So this, you don't necessarily have to get memorized today. It's like I'm not saying, okay, by by Wednesday in our next meeting, get all these get all these notes memorized, okay? So I'm not saying that. But it's a good idea to have something like this around. Just have it like print out, have it in your baritone book, have it in your baritone case, you know, just something. Because you need to, you need to start learning the neck here. Okay, you need to start learning these scales, your chords, and different stuff like that. So, right, we're not gonna go over it, but you do see again, Here's your tuning up here, all right? This is the nut right here, this this black 
on the chart, the white thing, white one here, and then here's your notes as you move up the neck. Okay, so just something to get in. And if you're an ukulele player, you should know this as well. If you're a guitar player, you should know this as well. Mandolin player, banjo player, whatever it is, you should know all this stuff. At least start getting it down. So when you look at a note here, you either know what it is, and if you can't, you can figure it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighth fret. What note is that? Oh, okay, I'm playing a G note. Okay, you want to know this stuff. Or well, what about if I play sixth fret on the this? But well, if you don't know it right off the top of your head, you can just count one, two, three, four, five, six. And right there, I'm playing either G sharp or an A flat note. All right, so those are your notes on the neck. All right, notes on the neck. Just slowly start getting those down. Okay, slowly start getting that that down. Okay, good. I see a lot of great comments. Thank you all for the for that. <laughs> yeah, we, we give away, by the way, I forgot to mention that, but we do give away Koloha ukuleles <laughs> as well. Not for this challenge. One, Koloha doesn't make a, a baritone. Um, and two, um, uh, Ohana sponsoring this challenge. Thanks, Ohana. Appreciate that. Uh, but uh, we do give away cold law ukuleles. Matter of fact, we just gave one away. We give away Romero's creation stuff. We give away all kinds of stuff. Okay, just to the members. Just to the members. All right. All right. Good. Good. All right. So the next step then. Let me get a little water here. Usually I just push through and don't. But I'm gonna I'm gonna drink a little water. <clears throat> drink a little water here. All right. The next step here is we're going to learn our chords. Okay, we're going to learn three chords today. And then we're going to jump into some strumming. And then we're going to do a song. So I planned this so even if you're a beginner, you, you can handle this. Okay, And you have two, day, two, day, two days, like my kids, two days. You have two days to, uh, you have two days to get this uh, posted. You can post it on YouTube. You can post your videos on uh Instagram, you can post them up at the You Collect the Pros forum, okay, as well. Now there is a way, a sign up. I'll show, I'm gonna let me send that to you. The You Collect the Pros forum. Sorry. All right. So if you're not if you're not on the forum, the forum is free, and it's free to sign up for the forum. It's on the it's on the homepage if you go to youcollectthepros.com, but I'll put a link. But you can post your videos there as well. So here's the forum. This is the free forum. I'm just going to call it ULTP, you like the pros for them. Okay. There you go. Go sign up for the forum. You can post your videos there too. Make sure though, make sure when posting videos, you make sure you use the hashtag ULTP and tag at you like the pros. Anywhere, doesn't matter, even on the forum. Okay, even on the forum. Do this on the forum. It's not, it's not necessary so much on a forum, but just do it. Just get in the habit of that. And we're going to use that hashtag for everything moving forward. Just ULTP. Keep it simple. ULTP. You collect the pros. You collect the pros. Okay. Instead of all these like baritone challenge, you know, these long, long tags. Just real simple. Okay. Okay, good. Now, let me, let me, let me throw this up on the screen. Now, I don't know if you're, is anybody a total beginner? Meaning like you don't play ukulele, ukulele. So many people make fun of me for saying ukulele, which is really the proper way to say it. Does anybody not play anything? Like you're not a guitar player. You don't play ukulele or anything. You're just totally brand new. This is like day one for you. Okay. Is there any day oneers here? Let me know. Anybody that's day one, day one. Literally, don't play anything. Maybe I mean, maybe you play. I'm a little bit about. You don't play a string instrument. Maybe you play, you know, flute or saxophone or something like that. Okay. Okay. If if you don't. Okay. If you don't. Um, then you definitely want to either sign up for the premium membership, or if you really love the baritone. Like you go go take this course. Okay. Okay. Go take the, the baritone course, all right? Take, take the, it's a, it's a super course. You definitely want to go through it at least once, okay? All right. All right, so a couple of people here. Two months. All right, good. So we're, we're going to jump into the chords. The chords are, are, the great thing about this is the chords are actually, 
the same, the same as the ukulele, except for you just have to get used to the different, uh, the different chords, names, They're just the names, okay? Not the shapes, the names, all right? We're only gonna be doing three chords today, right? Three chords. Because our song, Tutti Frutti, it just has two chords. So the chords today are gonna to be G, okay? C, and then the other one, I'm gonna, is actually, I decided to make it an easier one, and I'll show you it, we'll come back to it, is D7. That's it. Three chords. Okay. Oops, sorry. That was a, so I gave you a whiplash right there. All right. So G, C, and D7. And that's all we need for the whole song. Matter of fact, these three chords, you can play this whole book. <laughs> you can play this whole book right here with those three chords. Okay. Right here. Boom. All right. Three chord songs with three chords. Now this book is it, it's not always in the key of G, but you could you could change any of these songs to the key of G. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I love the baritone as well. All right, so let's let's look at this. Let's let's grab your first chord here in G. This is super simple, even if you're a total beginner. Open fourth string, open third string. Oh, oh, that's horrible. Hold on, that's terrible. Open second string. There we go. Okay, open, open, open. Third finger. That's what this is, right? On the third fret. Boom, like that, and that's it. All right, G chord. Get this down. Get it memorized. Now, a lot of you, again, if you play ukulele, this is your C chord, right? So it's the same chord, it's just that you gotta get used to the new name, G. That's it. G chord. I'm gonna assume that's, that's pretty, it should be pretty simple for you. Even if you're a beginner, just make sure you're playing on the fingertip. Get each, each string nice and clear. Right. Get that down, memorize as a G chord. All right, next chord. Let's do this. Let's jump. Let's jump to the D7, and I'll show you why in a second. Let's jump to this D7 here. Let's just say here, here, like southern, southern. Now watch this. To get to the D7, just slide your third finger back one fret, so it's on the second fret. Add your first finger to the second string, first fret. Add your second finger to the third string, second fret. Leave that fourth string open. Leave it open. And then G7. Again, from the G, I just slid my, my third finger back, added the first finger, added the second finger, and open, and there it is. There's your D7 chord. All right. Where are we at with that? Who's got those two chords down? Oh, thank you, Yvonne. We're, we're gonna be doing some singing today, even if it gets, even if it gets tagged by YouTube. Uh, okay. Yeah, we got 99 people, 98 people. It was up to 108, I think. We got 53 thumbs up. Thank you for that. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So let's just do that. G, D7. Let's do that with me. One. Okay, that's probably the chart shows D. Just okay, yeah. I'm I'm frustrated with this chart. I'm sorry. There's so many errors. That's my fault. My fault. I did I did a lot yesterday to try to get it. So I would play D7, and the reason for that is because it's just easier to get to from the D7 than that. So uh, yeah, that's my fault. It should have it should be D. So we'll we'll have Mari fix it for you right now. Okay. Uh, let me let me just send her a message. 
I'm going to play all D to D7 and change chord diagram. Okay. It's funny how a simple a simple song has is, is, had so many mistakes in it. <laughs> okay. Okay. So anyway, do the D7 for this. It's going to be a lot easier. Okay. We'll we'll have a new chart fix here in a little bit. Okay. And then the reason, the other reason for that is that once you get to the C chord, once you get to the C chord, go back here, you already have your first finger down for the C chord. That's it. So whether you're going from C to D7 or D7 to C, that first finger on the second string first fret doesn't have to move. Okay. Second finger right there to D7. Okay, so there's your C chord. Second fret, open third string. Second string, first fret, and open first string. And that's why you have to play on your fingertips, right? Because you gotta get that open third and open first. Right? If you droop a little bit, right, it's not gonna happen very good. Okay, so you wanna get that nice and clear. All right, so let's try it. Let's go between those two chords here. Okay. There you go. All right. So let's just do that. I just want to go C chord to D7. And notice that first finger again is your pivot finger. C, D7, C, D7. All right. Okay, so some of you think this is easier, play the D chord like a partial bar chord. I don't know if that's true for a lot. Some people though, because that's that's hard right there to bar. For some of you, it might be easy. It might be easy. Okay. Okay. So we got three chords. We got G. Do it with me. We got the C chord. seven chord and then that does it G chord all right so make sure and again the chart will be fixed in a second here make sure that you get and it's you like the pros.com slash play again you can go directly to it but please sign up for the challenge because you we're going to be picking a winner based off of the challenge okay or based off the signups okay you have to sign up but here's the link yeah just play i was just making sure i got the right the right thing here okay you click the pros.com slash play there'll be a new the fixed chart will be up here in just a second thanks to uh mari and alex for putting up with my uh my uh <laughs> yeah a lot that's a lot that's a lot we we go we go we go we go uh, fast here. We got a lot of a lot of moving parts here right now. A lot of balls in the in the air. So mistakes happen, but we're we're working on them. All right. If you get this down, then we can do our first song, which is uh, uh, "Tutti Fruity." So, how are these chords? Who's got these memorized? Just put like a, a "I do" or put a thumbs up or like a "Shaka" or something. Do you have these three chords memorized? Okay. Memorize, which would be what? G, C, and D7 chords. Okay. Do you have a memorize? Get a memorize, please, please, please. Trust me, trust me on this. Trust me. This is a key. If you struggle with your songs, this is really important. If you struggle with your songs, if you don't get a memorized, if you don't get a memorized, that's your problem. Okay. Now the strumming, all that stuff, that's gonna get, that's gonna happen over time. But if you just, like, just get a memorized and, and start small. So don't say, okay, don't expect, please. I gave you this chord chart, all right? I gave you this chord chart, the baritone chord chart. Some of you may have heard to have this already, but I'm not giving it to you and telling you to go memorize these. What is it? 
seven times six. I'm not telling you to go and memorize these, what is that, 42? These 42 chords. All right? That's not what I'm saying. Start small, okay? I would normally say get the major chords down, but I think the D7 is a really important chord for now. Okay, so get these, get these down, and not only down memorized, okay? Not only down memorized, but like, oh, it's not on the screen. Let me try that again. Sorry. Zoom does that sometimes. All right, let me try this again. That's not what I want. All right, let me, let me do this. So I don't know why the screen was black. I need to check that at all times. Okay. Let me see why this is, is showing up like that. Let me try again. It's not a perfect system here. Okay. Here we go. This should work. All right. So let me, let me just reiterate that again. When I give you this chord chart, I'm not telling you to get all of these chords memorized. I'm not trying to get all the chords memorized. Let me just make sure that it gets up on the screen right. But I am saying, there we go. Okay, don't you don't have to get all all these chords memorized. But start slow. Get these three I'm giving you, and then if you got those, get on the major chords. Right, get these down. Get on the minor chords. Right, do them in chunks. Do them in chunks because some of these chords are going to be used more than others, anyways. You're not going to necessarily use all these chords. For example, you probably won't use this chord right here a lot. This B major seven chord. Right. Probably just won't use it a lot. Doesn't mean you won't ever use it. Just means you won't use it a lot. So get get what you know. Get these three down. Get the major. Get the minor down. Okay. All right. Now, are we ready for our first song? Let's do it. How, who's ready for Tutti Fruity? Mario says the new one is up. <coughs> New, it's new, it's probably called new, 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 <laughs> the new, new chart. Okay. All right, there we go. Thank you, Mart. Lifesaver. So now if I get Tutti Fruity up, and you have, you have now the three chords right here, okay? You have the three chords right here on this page, already done for you, in case you are still new and getting them down. G, C, and the D7, okay? So there you go. All right. Oh, we need to fix. <laughs> we'll, we'll get this chart right sometimes. Uh, this is wrong as well. Mari, we need to fix this. This is not the not the right word. I think I sent it to you. <laughs> yeah, we'll fix that. I'll, I'll type it in for now. <sighs> All right. But let's let's not worry about that. Uh, Mari, check. Uh, let me see here. Give me one second here. Let's get that fixed. Maybe by the end of this thing, we'll have this. Uh, we'll have this fixed. Uh, all right. Let's look at the strum pattern though for a second. That's what I'm worried. About. That's what I want to focus on right now. Okay. Is a strum pattern. Uh oh. All right, right here. I'm getting a. I'm getting a wheel here. All right. This is what I want to work on. So grab your G chord. Right. Real simple. This is all this is. Down, 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 down. Okay, that's all you need. You don't even need to see that. You know what I mean? I'll share. Alright? So that's all you need right now. It's just that down, down, up. Where's my thing here? Okay. Down, down, up, down, down, up. You don't have to strum here. You can strum here. Okay, you can strum it there. All right. Uh, let me see here. Let me send. Uh, let me just grab this again. Uh, there we go. Here, I'm going to send it. All right. A bop, bop, a loop, a lot, bop, boom. Something like that. It, it doesn't have to be perfect, but, but we'll, we'll, we'll make it that. Something like that. Okay. Yeah, there you go. All right. 
Yep, the D7. Now we're going to get that fixed. And that's the intro and the outro. All right, 50. What, I don't know what that means, Yvonne. I don't know what that means. All right. And this is intro and outro. Okay. All right. So, the cool thing about this book is it's just a simple book. It just has it just has some basic lyrics in it and the chords, but it also has at least a starting note. Now notice this is in the key of F. I changed the key, okay? I changed the key because uh, uh, well, first of all, this is this is for ukulele. This is not for baritone. Okay, uh, this is not this is not for baritone. Okay. Uh, the cards are big, and you. Oh yeah, I can't. I can I? Can I? I don't know if I can do that. Can I do that? That I don't know about. Let me check my video settings here. I don't know if I can make myself, uh, I don't know if I can make everything the same. I don't know. No. Let's see. I don't think I can. I'll have to pull, pull with that. I don't think I can though. All right. Can you do that on Zoom? Make it 50-50? I don't think you can. If there's a way to do it, I'll look at it. Okay. All right. Now. ba da dee da Oh, Rudy. To the fruity. All right. So there's your melody note. Uh, ba 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 all right, that's all it is. Okay. All right. Just do this with me, right? So it's like a pop, pop, a loop, a pop, bamboo, to the fruit, oh, root it, to the fruit, oh, root it, to the fruit, So we'll just do that, okay? We'll just do that right there. Now let's see, let's just see. Uh, <laughs> let's just see, let me refresh this. Where are we at here? Let's get the right chart up. We'll get the right chart up. We'll give, we'll give Mari just another second here just to get the right chart up with all my errors. All my errors, okay? Not yet, not yet. It's coming though, it's coming. <laughs> uh, all right. I apologize. It's my fault for all the errors. So we'll get it down, though. We'll get it down. We're learning every day. We're getting better and better. Okay? But if you're singing this, especially in the key of G, by the way, you do not have to sing for the challenge. Okay? To enter, you just have to do the chords. Okay? You don't have to sing. But I always encourage singing. It's like it's like bonus. It's bonus. Okay? I feel like... Uh, I feel like... Uh, Oh, okay, I'll try. I'll try, Chuck. Uh, I feel like um, it's just fun to sing, even if you're not singing. But again, you don't have to sing for the challenge. Okay, you can just play. But if you are a singer, your first note is D here on the second string, third fret, and then to the G. making it up as I go anyways, that little intro part. <laughs> Just kind of a fun little part. All right. I'm going to download the latest chart here. <laughs> take take five. Take five of the chart. All right. Let's see what happens here. And this way I, I can put it up on a screen. All right. All right. 
downloads. All right, here we go. Let's make some magic happen. All right. All right, here we go. Is this all right? All right, all right. Woo! -hoo. All right. Okay, I'll answer that question on the strum. Let me put this up. This is essentially a blues. Right? This is essentially a blues. So someone asked, how many, how many times do you play each chord? So it's essentially going to be a blues. And so what that will be is uh, basically four times on the G. Two to fruite, oh root it. Two, three, two to fruite. Oh, root it to the C chord, to the fruit A, all root it back to the G, to the fruit A, all root it, D7, to the fruit A, all root it. A bop, bop, a loop, a bop, bam, boom, da da da. All right, so what this, so basically, yeah, four times on the G, two times on the C, two times on the G, and then one time, one time. And what this means is a G, and then you're going to stop, no chord. So you hit that G chord, you're gonna stop. All right, and that's that's what that means. Yeah? A bop, bop, balloon, ba, a lot, bop, boom. Okay, that's how it goes. That's what it, that's how it goes. I'll, I'll I'll try to sing it right, at least from what the chart says. Let me let me check my screen. Do I am I have it? Am I good? Okay, good, good, good. All right. All right. I think everything is right now. Everything is right, right? Okay. I don't think. I can do what you're talking about, Chuck, because I can't even see. I can't even see myself. Okay? I can't even see myself on it. Okay. Uh, so let's give it a shot. Let's let's give let's give this first let's give this first uh, this part a shot. Okay. Right here, the intro and this first chorus. Okay. No backing tracks yet. We'll try the backing tracks in a second. All right, where you go? One, two, three. A bop, bop, a loop, a lot, bop, boom. To the fruit, eh? Oh, root it. To the fruit, eh? Oh, root it. Now do the C chord. To the fruit, eh? Oh, root it. To the fruit, eh? Oh, root it. D7. To the fruit, eh? Ba loop ba a la ba boom. Alright, so hit that G chord and stop it. Alright. Alright. So that's that first part. Let me just see where we're at here. How are we doing on that first part? Okay. Watch by the end of the gen, it's gonna be new take 39. <laughs> take 39. Alright. Alright. Uh -huh. Okay. Five, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, two, three, to the C chord, all oh, root it. To the G chord, all oh, root it. To the D7, to the fruit, and to the C chord, all oh, root it. Now, bop, bop, ba, loop, ba, a la, bop, boom. All right. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll get you'll get you'll get the ukulele and the baritone like confused uh, for sure for a while. I still get it confused. Plus we do guitar later. Plus we do guitar, so it's always this always this thing everywhere else. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of good things here. A lot of people looking good. Let's look at the next part. All right. Yeah, we always do a one through five scale for you like the pros. So one being uh, need some work, five being you crushing it. Okay, that's usually how we do it here. Okay. Yeah, if you could, yeah, you can play it on guitar. Sure, you can play this on guitar. Yeah, just a. It's not a. It's not a mute, Brenda. It's like a. Just a stop in the sound. A bop, bop, ba, loop, ba. Yeah, it's just like. I mean, it is a mute, but you just stop in the sound. To the fruity, oh fruity. Bop, bop, ba, loop, ba, a bop, bamboo, ba, di, 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 di. And all right, so we're still kind of, we're still kind of slow. Tempo what? Excuse me, double wise, but we're we're on our way. Okay, four point two five. All right, now the next part. Now, 
like this is just me uh like i could have chosen like you are my sunshine my only sunshine right i could have like if you look at a lot of beginning songs that that other other people will do they'll do like really super simple songs which is cool i mean that's like you know that probably helps but like when i saw this song i said you know it's a little challenging because it's not you know but it's like it's a fun song so even though it might challenge you if you're first starting i think with some work within a day a couple days a week depending on what level you're at you can get it so that's kind of my thinking here you know like that's not necessary you don't see that but i just i don't know i wanted to do something different and i don't see a lot of uh I see a lot of, I don't see a lot of Tutti Fruities out there. And what a great song. And I love Little Richard. He just, just was so great when he, you know, in those, in those, all those 50 recordings and everything. Okay. All right. So the next part then, it's almost the same. It's slightly different though. Okay. It's, it's almost the same. It's just slightly. Got a girl named Sue. She knows just what to do. So again, the G chord is going to be. Uh, four times. That's supposed to be a uh, not not good typing. Yeah. Okay, so it's it's four times, right? Then you go again to the C chord twice. Okay, to the G chord. All right, somebody got a girl named Sue. She knows just what to do. To the C chord. Got a girl named Sue. She knows just what to do. She rocks to the east. She rocks to the west. She rock me to oh this there's one extra thing here. <laughs> this, all right. This this that's the on there. Sorry. All right. Uh, the never ending chart. All right. So anyway, two times there, and then you're gonna have this G chord stop three times, not four times. <laughs> three times. All you can do is laugh, honestly. All you can do is laugh. That she rocks to the east. She rocks to the west, but she's a girl that I love best. Two to fruity, over, and then you go right back to the the chorus part. Okay, so let's try this right here. Okay, nice and slow, nice and slow, and then we'll speed up a little. One, two, three. Got a girl named Sue. She knows just what to do. Here we go. I got a girl. Knows just what to do. Here we go. She rocked to the waist. She rocked to the west. But she's a girl that I love best. Tutti Fruity. Oh, Rudy. Tutti Fruity. All right, so that's that's what it's like. Uh, these lyrics are a little bit off, too. That's, I need to check the original recording. But uh, this is this is a perfect example and a lot of you that, uh, a lot of you um, know this from me if you've seen this before. Uh, yeah, people choose the public domain songs, but not always, not always, you know. Uh, I will say, and this is this is my fault, this is funny that this happened because I'm, I preach this stuff like that. Like, this chart was taken, I took these lyrics and chords, this is a, this is a pretty simple song. Right, like I know it's, it can be challenging to play, especially the tempo. Da dee 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 da dee da dee 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 dee. Yeah, we didn't. It's not the whole song. We're just doing this because your videos for the challenge don't have to be don't have to be uh, don't have to be very long. But I took this chart. This is a great lesson, by the way. This is a great lesson for you out there. And a lesson I already know, but if, if I, you know, honestly what I did, tutti fruity, lyrics, and chords, okay? If you type that in, the first one that comes up, which is ultimateguitar.com, which is, which is a site that's been around a long time, like, this is where I got all this stuff from, and it's not, it's not correct. <laughs> it's just not right. So, my suggestion to you my suggestion to you and myself, it was it really just a, 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 it's no excuse really. Like whatever you get online, like if you get something from a Google search, 
like you should double check it. You should double check it. Okay? Cuz it's like uh there's a lot of there's a lot of mistakes. Lyrics are wrong, chords are wrong, all kinds of stuff are wrong, okay? So we'll see. We'll see. Let, let me download the latest version and see what <laughs> and see what see what I come up. <laughs> Typically, I mean, I'm laughing about this, but I really don't, uh, not, not, I don't like this, but that's just, you know, we're, uh, we're doing everything we can to end for it. So sometimes you got to just laugh. Sometimes you just got to laugh it off. <laughs> All right. Take four. Take four. Oh, excuse me. Yes, knee's coming. <coughs> All right. So here we go. I think we're ready to do the whole song and then we'll try it with the backing trap. All right. Backing track sound amazing, by the way. All right, so here we go. Thank you, Mari, and everybody for doing it. All right, so here we go. Let me just make sure that this is on the screen before I do like a whole long thing with this. All right. Oh, how do you know it's right? Go to the recording, right? Always go to the recording, okay? Always go to the original recordings and use your, and use your ear, okay? Yeah, always go to the original recording. All right, good. All right, so here we go. We're going to do the whole thing. No backing track yet. And then we'll do it with the backing track, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Ba 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 so you have like a you have like a pickup for two measures before we start. One, two, a one, two, three, a bop, bop, a loop, a lop, bop, boom, tutti frutti, oh rude, tutti frutti, oh rude, tutti frutti, oh rude, tutti frutti, oh rude, D seven, tutti frutti, oh rude, a bop, bop, a loop, a lop. I got a gal named Sue. She knows just what to do. I got a gal named Sue. She knows just what to do. She rocked me to the east. She rocked me to the west. But she's a girl that I love best. Tutti Frutti, oh Rudy. A Tutti Frutti, oh Rudy. A Tutti Frutti. All right, there's one time through. That's 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 all you have to do for your challenge. Okay, that's all you have to do for your challenge. Okay. Uh, so, uh, uh, yeah, we have a call after this. We have a call after that. Uh, Uh, all right, we'll, we'll hide that. Uh, we'll hide that comment. <laughs> we'll hide that comment. All right. Now we're gonna do with the backing tracks. We'll do with backing tracks. <laughs> it's funny how, uh, and I appreciate all the comments, even negative comments. I, I had a, there was a, there was a, uh, a, a negative comment that was just posted that I just had to hide. <laughs> but that person is is either still here or was here. So, you know, appreciate them taking their time to uh, do it. Uh, I don't take anything personally. So no matter what people say or what language they use. So I've heard it all anyways. So anyway, I do appreciate people taking the time to comment. <clears throat> all right, I'm gonna find the backing tracks here. Let me get these backing tracks. All right, and we're going to do it. There's a slow, there's, no, there's three back, I think there's three backing tracks for you. There's a s ultra slow or slow, there's a medium, and there's a, uh, there's a fast, all right? So I'm not going to do the, let me see, the slow is, the slow is right here. I'm not going to do the slow. Ba, 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 ba. Ba-da-dee, 
Oh, she's the girl that I love best. So pretty soon. <laughs> oh, Rudy. Fruity, oh, too bad. I can't remember the lyrics. Oh, Rudy. A tutti fruity. Now, did you notice, did you notice I had, I had my buddy Pear, he does the backing tracks. I had him put those hits in there. A da, 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 okay. That was a slow one, okay, so that was slow. That was at, uh, I said I wasn't going to do it, and then I ended up doing the whole song. That was at 108, because they're all pretty short. That's all, you've, all, we, all you have to do for the challenge. We can we can get uh, well I'll talk to Mari. We can we can try to get the whole song up there. It's just two other uh, uh, it's just two uh, other verses. Two other verses. Okay. All right. Let's try the medium track. Let me put this up for you. All right. I got two. I got two two uh, thumbs down. <laughs> love it. I love it. All right. Here we go. I'm going to put the chart up for this one. We're going to do the, uh, we're going to do the medium, the medium. Yeah, this one, this one, we're a little long on this one. I know that. Uh, it's just because we had to do some preliminary stuff. Next, next, on Wednesday, we'll just do more of the song. Okay. All right. Thank you all. Thank you for the great comments. I appreciate it. Okay. There we go. All right. So let's go to, I know it's kind of small, but there you go. This is version four. Version four. This this medium backing track is 142. Okay, 142. Watch this. A pop pop a loop a pop bamboo a tutti frutti oh rude a tutti frutti oh rude a tutti frutti. She rocked me to the west, and she's a girl that I love best. To the fruity, oh Rudy. A 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 pop, pop, a loop, a pop, bam, boom. All right, all right. So there was a. There was the medium backing track. There was a medium backing track. Where are you with that one? We got one more to go. We got one more to go. The backing tracks are just as MP3, so it should work on any device. Yeah, even on Android. A Android should be able to play, play that. Uh, all right. We got one more. We got the fast. We got the fast version. We got the fast version coming up. All right. Now the other the other verses are are like the same. It's like I got a girl named Daisy. You know she got she got a couple other ones. All right. We got one more to go. One more to go. I'm just seeing the scores here. All right. One more to go. <clears throat> But again, you don't have to do the whole song for your videos because we gotta, we're going to watch all the videos, so you don't need to do like a long one. Uh, but you can sing the song as much as you want. All right. all right, one more. That was the medium. The medium is at 142, so the fast one is here. A bop, bop, a loop, a bop, bamboo. Got a girl. Da, da, da. Da dee da dee da dee da. Woo! Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Did fruity, oh rude. A bop bop a loop a bop bamboo. Got all right. There's your fast. All right. All right. So we're gonna do that one right now. You can do any tempo you want. Yeah. Any tempo you want. All right. You all want the chart up? Oh, okay. Ramon style. 
All right, let me put the chart back up. All right, here we go. Let me make sure it's on the screen. And then we're going to do the fast one. Here we go. Fast one. All right. Let me just give it one second so it gets on the screen. Thank you all for being here. It's kind of a long one. Kind of a long one today. But that's okay. All right. There it is. Let's do this. Remember, we're going to have eight clicks and then the, and then the intro. Here we go. A bop, bop, a loop, bop, a bop, bamboo. Tutti frutti, oh, rooty. Tutti frutti. You rock me to the west. Now she's a girl that I love best. Tutti frutti, oh Rudy. A 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 bop bop a loop a lop bam boom. All right, <laughs> all right. So that was fun. <clears throat> I couldn't hear the backing track at the very beginning, so I, was, I think I was, I had to catch up. I think I was a beat behind for a little bit. Uh -uh. All right, so that was fun though. We won't do it again, but we'll let you guys, we'll, we'll, we'll let you guys rock it. So, all right, uh, let me hear, let me see your scores, one to five. And uh, don't forget, we're going to be back on Wednesday at 11 o'clock. Uh, your, today is the last day for the baritone sale. Okay, the baritone sale. You can just go right here for that. The baritone sale. Let me see your scores. Let me see your scores. Okay. Yeah. But even even like the yeah, even these these are always for the mo I think they're always wound. They're still there's still fluorocarbon underneath it, but uh they're still uh they're still wound. Alright, so go to the uh fifty percent, all right, last few hours of the baritone sale. Don't forget to sign up uh, for the challenge if you haven't. The webinar, okay, don't forget about the link to the webinar. Sign up for that as well. That will be next Thursday, okay? <laughs> next Thursday. And then uh, for this week, we have two offers this week. I'm just going to throw them up here for you. We have two offers. We have two Fourths of July specials. We have one on the premium membership, 20% off the premium membership. And we have... So there's one, and then the other one is the Elvis special, 15% off the Elvis Ukes this week. All right, all right, y'all. So I appreciate y'all being here. I'll see you on Wednesday. We'll post this up on that page, that play page. So if you need to see it again or something like that, uh, backing track. Yeah, you don't have to use a backing track for your recordings, but like I suggest you should practice with them. They're a lot of fun. And uh, it's just, it's just, it just makes, it makes you play, like it makes it more enjoyable to play, and it uh, it helps your timing. Okay, it helps your timing. All right. So I'm gonna get out of here. Thank you all. Have a great rest of your day. I will talk to you soon. I'll see you Wednesday. And uh, good luck too. I can't wait to see your videos. Please post them. Instagram, YouTube, or the forum. Okay, or the forum. Make sure to use the hashtag. ULTP, you like the pros, and tag us at you like the pros. All right. Thanks, y'all. I will see you. You guys are awesome. Keep up the great work. You can do this. You got this. And uh, well, I got to find the right screen to, to end this. <laughs> That's going to be a challenge. I don't know where that is. Uh, it's somewhere. I think it might be over here. But anyway, you guys keep up the good work. This is the baritone. Uh, it's amazing. And don't forget about the webinar. We got super secret news coming on the webinar. So, uh, anyway, have a great rest of your day. I'm just going to end this here one. Have a great rest of your day and, uh, we'll see you on Wednesday. All right. Take care. And this too. And, and.